Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a redo of an older video I have on how to RNG stationary Pokemon in Sun and Moon. Um, I'm redoing this video because the tools have updated significantly and uh, the methods are basically the same, but I just don't want people downloading Sun and Moon RNG tool anymore. Um, I believe I might, I might have even removed the links from my videos, but I still get people asking, hey, where's that? You don't use that tool anymore, use 3DS RNG tool, um, so you're going to need that. Looks like this. Um, you're also going to need Eon Timer, so it looks like this. Um, and it's going to be the same process as, uh, uh, you know, all the other RNG, but I'll do it in a very uh, easy-to-understand way, I hope. So in uh, Sun and Moon... Uh, or <laughs> See there, doing it again. In 3DS RNG tool, um, you're going to need to set up a profile with your game and its trainer shiny value. Uh, even though you can't really RNG any of the shinies in this game, you know, uh, the legendaries to be shiny in this game doesn't really matter. Just it's good to set up the profile. You're going to go to stationary RNG uh, and you're going to set legendary and you're going to set the one you're aiming for. Um, mine is Tepu Lele. Um, I have a synchronizer at the beginning of my party, I suggest you do as well. So I have a timid one. Um, here's where you adjust what stats you want. So I want five perfect stats, uh, and I want a... I actually don't know if that's possible with hidden power, fire, uh, probably not. Um, let me double check. Uh, okay, so it seems that I could at max have four, no, three uh, uh, perfect stats with hidden power, fire. Um, so... I'll be aiming for that then. Uh, ideally, it would be hyper trained up, so it'll be three perfect stats. We're looking for um, for speed. We're looking for thirty um, health. Eh, we'll do we'll do like this uh, because health needs to be it could be thirty to thirty one. So we'll do thirty to thirty one, uh, and basically everything but attack, um, and because that way. Um, it gives you the most options for which hidden power fire you're getting. So, oh, uh, speed should be 30. Um, and I don't think my speed can ever be 31, so we'll leave it like that. Uh, hidden power, I'll check off fire. That's what I'm aiming for. You should just check off whatever you're aiming for. Um, all this stuff, you don't really need to touch any of it, except this one. I just increased it to 500,000. That's basically how long you're willing to wait. Um, then you're going to go into Tools, Gen 7, Main RNG Tool. This will pop up this window here. Basically, the goal of this is, um, you'll see in a second, but it's to line up these little spinners with your save profile. So if you watch here, this will spin, and then bing. So you have to do this uh, around eight times to find your initial seed to RNG. So um, it's pretty difficult at first. Uh, a lot of people have trouble with it. So my uh, best recommendation is to record it with your phone or something. Um, it, you know, if you have a capture card, great. If you have it, if you're able, um, uh, but if not, I would suggest just using uh, your phone and recording it that way. I actually don't even record it on my 3DS XL anymore, just because it's so easy. I think. Um, and it takes about eight tries. Um, sometimes you'll get more than one result. So hopefully that happens, so I can explain better. It didn't, but if you get two results here, basically you just go back and you go again, um, and then you'll get your you'll get another. Yeah, see. Um, okay, so once you have your seed, you can go back into your main window here, and you can just do search, calculate. Um, so I don't really have any early frames because what I'm looking for is so specific. I could go for this timid one here. The, these three are aimable for me, but it's a 27 minute wait, which I just do not feel like doing. So it's pretty simple. Just soft reset your game, and you can find another seed. So I'll do that, because I'm impatient. The downside to this is sometimes it can take too long as well. You end up soft resetting a bunch, but I think it's generally faster uh, to soft reset. And here's the thing is if I wasn't talking and doing a commentated video and stuff like that, uh, I would just wait, but uh, for my own sake, <laughs> uh, I like to go quicker. Um, so, 
I'll pause and then just come back once I've got a uh, a good spread to show you guys. Okay, so after a few attempts, uh, I found a good seed, but before I show that, I'll explain. Um, your RNG won't advance as long as you just leave it on this spot right here, um, on the save you know, file select screen, so you can just leave it there as long as you want, that's not a big deal. Um, so what you're looking for in terms of good spreads is obviously not only, you know, the nature, hidden power, um, and uh, stats that you want for the Pokemon. Um, I also look for like, you know, low frames and like, this is only, this would only be a three minute wait. That's not really a long time. Um, this, um, this one would be a five minute wait. And if you look, it's the same, uh, spread for three frames in a row. Um, a frame is one sixtieth of a second. So this would mean I'd have three sixtieths of a second. Um, but the last one is a calm nature, not timid, which kind of sucks. Um, you're also looking for stuff like this, um, where there's multiple, like a large amount in a row. So if you look at this one, uh, right here, um, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven frames in a row. And it's also, um, star and, uh, five and 30. And so what the five and the 30 mean is that these two specific frames will actually last like a really long time. So the, the five basically means it'll last for uh, five thirtieths of a second and the 30 means it lasts a whole second. So that's like, that's pretty good uh, by my book. Um, I'll probably be going for, um, I like this three, this is basically a two, two wide spread, but I also like the three minute one. Um, I'll go for the, the three wide spread and I will go for the, um, I'll go for this right here. And so you right click and you click set as target frame and it'll pop up in the gen seven main RNG tool and you hit calculate. And so this little window box pops up um, and you go over into Eon timer and you go into the gen three tab and you're going to type out the frame into Eon timer. So it's one, nine, two, one, nine, five, two, four frames. Um, the pre timer is basically how long your game takes to load the world map. Um, oh, my DS is dying. Don't want that to happen. After all that stuff resetting. Okay. So, um, the default for this is 3,500. You'll have to do some adjustments for it, uh, which I will cover as well. Um, so the default is 3,500 for an old 3DS or an old 2DS and 2,500 for a new 3DS and a new 2DS. Um, and so... Let's get back to Eon Timer. You're gonna hit A on Eon Timer, and um, start on your or and your DS and start on Eon Timer at the same time. Okay, so here we go. Uh, okay, so that loaded really fast. Um, so I'm probably gonna be early, but basically what you want to do is uh, touch the statue. Um, this is the same process for all three statues, and then uh, you're going to hit A here when your timer reaches zero. So I'll pause and come back in five minutes. Okay, I've only got ten seconds left on my timer, and I just hit A as it hits zero. Here we go. Okay. So now, um, because my, if again, when you notice my pre-timer ended much earlier than... Uh, much later than the game loaded, so I'm probably going to miss it, but that's fine. Um, so we just try and catch it as quickly as possible. Um, I believe I have a Master Ball on this game, so shouldn't be much. I haven't played Sun and Moon and uh, regular Sun and Moon in so long. <laughs> I'm so used to the UI from Ultra Sun. Okay, so. Uh, after you catch it, you're just going to have to take a look at its stats um, and figure out uh, if you caught the right mon or not. Fortunately, I don't have any of the dex pages for any of these guys, so I have to <laughs> watch them every time I do this. No nickname. Nickname them later, just it's quicker. Uh, it's, it's safer to assume on your first attempt you'll miss it. Actually, get... Oh good, okay. I didn't get the... Alright, so let's check it out. What do we get? Alright, so it is timid. 
Uh, I don't know what the stats of Lele is supposed to look like. So you can go into 3ds RNG tool and click. Um, so on this page, click using stats. It's basically just to search for for it using its stats and type out what you got. Now the thing is, since I'm using a synchronizer, it, it's potentially like pretty easy to. Um, you, know, you can't just use the nature to figure out if you hit the right frame or not. All right, uh, and we'll calc this. Hello. 170, 112, 99, 179, 161, 143. Oh, we'll uncheck the hidden power. So it probably can't. See, that's the thing you gotta look out for. See, it probably can't have hidden power fire right now. All right, so I have HP ice. Um, I am 22 frames late. Okay, so when you're late, what you're gonna be looking for is, um, so it's good that I missed because now I can show you how to adjust. Um, and that makes sense that I was late because my pre-timer went for too long. So um, if you're late, you have to subtract frames from your pre-timer. And the way you do that is you open up a little calculator. You do 22, which is the number of frames I was late by. And if you were early, it would say like minus 22. Um, you still just divide, do, do this whole process by positives. So 22 divided by 60 equals uh, 0.36. Um, and since we're late, we're going to have to subtract frames from our pre-timer. Um, so we'll go to Eon Timer here. So I have to subtract 0.36 from this pre-timer. This 3500 is actually 3.5. So what you do is uh, it'd be three digits. So it'd be 0.367. So we'll do 3.5 minus 0.367 equals. So this is going to be our new pre-timer. Three one oh, three one three three, and uh, now we just attempt the RNG process again with our new pre timer, um, and so uh, I will just have to find a new. Oops, where is it? I have to find a new initial seed and do that whole jazz over again to get a good hidden power. And I'll pause once I have a good seed again. Okay, so I found a decent two frame window at seventeen minutes. Normally I wouldn't wait this long, but I'm getting tired of soft resetting, so. Um, it doesn't matter which one I go for. Last time I was late, so I guess I'll just go for the slightly uh, earlier frame. Um, they are two in a row, so, you know, whatever. Um, right click, set so a target frame, hit calculate, go into your Eon timer, move this over, and it's 63696. Is 63696. There we go. And start Eon timer at the same time as your game. That was pretty much spot on in terms of the loading, so hopefully I can get it this time, but we'll see. And I'll pause and uh, be back in 17 minutes. Okay, we only got 10 seconds left, so hopefully I'm able to secure this one. <laughs> I always like to turn the volume down when my timer gets low, just because like it's easiest to focus only on the noise from uh, Eon Timer. <laughs> All right. I love the animation for the uh, the terrains. All right. Again, oh yeah, baby spice gets the level up. It's best to just set it up, get the check by stats, uncheck the hidden powers you're aiming for. I did ground in there just in case. Um, it's not bad for doubles uh, for heat train coverage, so I did it just to increase my search options, but I never ended up using it. <coughs> okay. So let's see here. It's better HP than last time. It is timid, but that means nothing. It's too better than last time. Uh, 99. Uh, 13. Special attack. It's a shame. Special defense is the shame. 50. I think we got it, guys, but let's see. Calculate. Yep. Oh. 
yep it seems we got exactly the frame we aimed for so we did our uh oh that was a different hit. um so we did our adjustments correctly and we hit a two frame window 17 minutes in um for further proof i will uh, fly over to the hidden power checker lady in uh the daycare or whatever um this lele is like the best you'll get for hidden power fire in the wild so if you uh while i'm moving i'll show the spread again so uh, this is uh, i'll show you the ivs um do a little search search Where, uh, oh i don't even remember oh because i unchecked hidden power uh we got fire so all right, so this is the one I aimed for. So basically the only non-perfect stats are attack, which is eight, which, you know, it's not the lowest it could be, which is obviously ideal, but it's still pretty low uh, for foul, to minimize foul play damage, of course. And um, special attack and speed are both 30, which is which is really good. Um, it, could, uh, it means I won't be... I don't have to increase that many stats uh, because I don't want to use a gold bottle cap because that would make the attack 31, which I obviously don't want. So I'll check the hidden power type from this woman, and I'll show you. Let's get over. Tapu Lele. Uh, fire. So, I also, I don't have the judge, <laughs> I don't have the judge feature in this game, because I've done, I think, zero RNG breeding in it, so. Uh, I can't prove it that way, but you'll just have to show, uh, from my stats search here. And calculating this, you can see. Everything's green but attack, so. It's looking good. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, I'll be unlisting my old uh, tutorial using Sun and Moon RNG tool. Uh, it'll still be available in the playlist, but um, I'm not going to be uh, uh, having that video publicly available anymore. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or anything, leave them down below, and I'll see you next video.